taking a look at the new 2024 Onyx Crosstrek. So these are the yellow highlights that we get here in Canada. They're just the fog light surrounds on the exterior. You don't get those little C's that you see on the American Sport or the equivalent to the Onyx. All new LED steering responsive headlights. Definitely a little smaller, a little bit more aggressive looking. And this is the offshore blue metallic. So it's very similar to Harbor Mist. It's a hard color to capture on camera. It really is. Onyx has black painted mirror caps. It's actual paint, it's not just black plastic. Integrated turn signals. Get your functional vents. And you get the 18 inch black painted alloy wheels. So these are the same wheels as the Limited that we have over here. They're just painted black, pure black. But overall, great color. I don't think this camera is doing this justice. Now I'm at 2024 Subaru cross track training with, training with Subaru Canada, and this one is all accessorized up. We've got the Thule Genuine Extended Crossbars, the Thule Canyon XT Basket. At the rear, two inch receiver. That is new for the 2024. Now it doesn't increase the tow capacity, it's still the same as the previous gen, but it makes adding accessories like the bike racks a heck of a lot easier. And we have a two bike Thule carrier with the Subaru bike. These are actually available for purchase on SubaruGear.ca. I'll put a link to that in the video description. But we have the new rear bumper step pad with from sea to forest to mountains, kind of what the Crosstrek is inspiring people to do and where you take them. Typically you go out in the wilderness, mountains, forest, or you enjoy the water. We have this nice little graphic here, and there's even a little image of a Crosstrek here. So it all ties together nicely, that outdoor theme, which is where lots of Crosstrek owners go. Have a halogen cargo light, I think the battery is actually disconnected on this one. We'll find out here in a minute. New textured cargo tray. Same thing, slightly different design on the rear seat back protectors. Now, the tonneau cover, this is an accessory for the touring and the convenience, but standard on the Onyx and the Limited. Handle is great, I'm a huge fan. It's better than just grabbing and pulling, like the previous ones. Third seat belt still out of the side. I get asked about this all the time. This is the third seat belt. Goes through there and clips in. You end up with a three point harness. We also get this. This is a grab handle. This is a game changer for those of you who are vertically challenged. Makes it so much easier. I've had lots of clients that don't have the capacity or they have shoulder issues and they can't reach this high. This makes a difference. Despite it only being six inches, Makes a big difference. Easier to close for sure. Now, on the Onyx, you get the black strip across the rear. That is just like the Sport Forester. And you get those new tail lights, the new shape. They extend really far into the rear core panel. Looks great. And this was pointed out to me earlier. This looks unreal. This is probably my favorite angle of the cross track right here, that kind of three quarter rear. I love it. It's a great look. Second row room. This is the cloth in the Onyx. So it's gray, it's kind of got this texture to it. it it's quite nice. It's a premium cloth for sure. Uh, yellow highlight. So this is also cloth. This is not a leather bolster or a vinyl bolster. That is not in the Onyx but you get the yellow highlights, even in the second row. It's quite nice. Looks really nice. I spent a little bit of time in the back seat of one of these today. Very, very comfortable. Out of the middle here, fold down armrest with dual cup holders. Sorry about the shadows. We are inside here though. A little harder to see, but we have USB-C and a sockets for charging off the back of the front passenger seat, map back pocket. 
plastic on the side doors. This is a little, this is a little softer, a little bit of a soft touch for the handle. Bottle holder with storage. They've changed the light switch or the window switch, sorry. Child lock if you need it, right there. Up front though. So this is different and this was from customer feedback about the outdoor. This is all soft touch. This is great. This is very, very comfortable, very soft. You get that yellow highlight. This right here, very, very soft. And the reason they did that is if you have your elbow on the side, you're leaning, you're on a bumpy trail, this is soft. And people with the outdoor cross track were talking about that being an issue, being too firm on the last one. Power windows, locks, window locks, mirror adjustment, bottle holders, that. 10-way power adjustable driver's seat, including lumbar. And here is a look at that gray premium cloth up front here, yellow highlights. Even on the back, I didn't notice this portion before being yellow, but this cloth is really nice. It feels a little bit different than the Touring. The pattern here has a little bit. It's, it's quite nice. So, new Crosstrek floor mats. On the inside here. Just turn on accessory power because we're inside. New blind spot detection is just the two little dots. I thought it was gonna be an issue with visibility, but I took one of these for a drive today. It's easy to see. It really is. It's not bad at all. Here, I'll turn it on, activate it. I've just turned it off and I've turned it on. So it's not hard to see. I thought it was gonna be an issue. It's really not. Dash on the Onyx, you get those yellow surrounds. And then of course you get your digital speedometer and they've done what they've done with the Outback and they've moved to that legacy Outback steering wheel. Very, very nice, easy to navigate through all of these. And that's just using this right here, this little toggle. Really nice tactile feel, tells you what you're listening to, fuel economy, range, temperature. We have our Bluetooth and audio controls. You can switch from AM to FM to satellite to USB. Just turned the headlights off so I'm not blinding those other guys. We've got volume and it's a very nice tactile touch feel. I don't know if you can hear that. Got the adaptive cruise and the lane centering and both of those use the three stereo EyeSight cameras. This is EyeSight 4.0 in the Crosstrek. Most up to date, latest and greatest. Heated wheel. From my testing, it is still the partial heated wheel, not the whole wheel. And then we have two different drive modes, intelligent and sport. So sports for more spirited driving, intelligence for every day. And of course this has the 2.5 liter with 182 horsepower. Over here, 11.6 inch touchscreen. Let's see, can I get it to light up? I can, there we go. Uh, but they've broken into three portions, just like the Outback and the Legacy, what you're listening to. And if you press it, it just takes you right there, which is great, same thing. Water temp, oil temp. If I want to change one of these, I just touch it. The widgets. Choose the one I want to change. Calendar, you can see it's the fourth. This is probably coming out on the fifth. Got weather. That's part of the satellite radio trial. And then you get dual function X mode. So snow, dirt, and deep snow and mud for that really gross stuff. Deep snow and mud also disables traction control, allows for excess wheel spin, and it's not going to let me do that because I'm not actually turned on. Got mad at me there but here's what the satellite radio one looks like. Easy to set a preset. So I know that they already have some presets, but let's, very similar to the ones we have back here in Prince George. Press and hold, there's our preset. Six is now uh, channel 43. Home button, you've got your main tiles, you've got apps, you've got Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. It's wireless in all of the Crosstrex with the exception of the convenience, the entry level. Access to the My Subaru app. Once you register the vehicle, you'll have access to it. And you do also have the roadside and the concierge slash roadside assistance buttons here. You'll get a little green light when it's activated. Below that, climate control, so I turn it on. It is dual function. They've kind of done the same thing in this that they have with the Outback, the Legacy. You can touch, you still have physical buttons, you can control where your airflow is being directed. Really, really easy to use. You can actually turn off climate to the rear. So if you don't have passengers, 
turn it off. You don't have to waste power. You don't have to waste fuel, heating or cooling the second row, the rear. It's great. Let me turn that off altogether. Below that, wireless charger, and you can actually turn it off. And this is a 10 watt fast charger, which is, if you, you want to charge your phone in a hurry, there you go. Got our drive selector. Let's see. Does that make it better? A little bit better. Drive selector, heated seats. So you still have high and low settings for both. And they've just, they've kind of done the opposite of what they've done on the Legacy and the Outback. They haven't put them in the screen physical buttons. So some people are gonna love that. Some people are gonna dislike it. Park brake, just like the Outback, pull up to turn on. Cup holders with drink razors. And then 12 volt outlet. And let's see if I can get a half decent look in the center console. Nothing in the center console, just storage. And then up top here, we have, we'll turn those map lights off. We've got our sunroof controls. It is a tilt and slide sunroof. And the headliner is all black in the Onyx or darker, which is a little different. So that was a quick look at the 2024 Subaru Onyx Crosstrek. And behind me, I have a whole bunch of the other Crosstreks that we had a chance to drive today at Subaru Canada 2024 training here in Vancouver. So I've got a couple, I've got every color here with the exception of Ice Silver. I'm not sure why an Ice Silver wasn't able to make it. I don't know if not enough weren't ordered or not but I will do another video kind of walking through these. But I'm Tyson the Super Specials from Super Prince George. Thanks for watching. Talk to you guys soon.